Ethiopia is where they say the Garden of Eden was. Some even say the Ark of Covenant was there. When Solomon came to see the Queen of Sheba, the Queen of Sheba was Ethiopian. The ancient country has millions of proud and noble people. Then why, today, does the average life expectancy rate only go up to a mere 47.7 years old? You cannot help but wonder why these people are in the midst of this silent tsunami, attacking Ethiopia and other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Ironically, Ethiopia is facing a food crisis when crop production has risen by 45% in the past five years. But now, Ethiopia has faced, and still is facing, a series of dangerous droughts in the last year, leaving crops dry and water dirty. Without a source of clean water and food, Ethiopians are forced to survive without anything but what they can find. Right now, one million Ethiopians are on the brink of death, urgently needing resources to survive on. 29 schools have been forced to close, and more than 4,000 children have dropped out of school in the Borana district due to severe climatic conditions, loss of loved ones, the incapability of supporting oneself, and migration by the local community. Ethiopia's economy is faltering even after the aid provided after the 1984 famine, which left the country in devastation. Now, 77% of the population can only withstand spending less than 2 USD a day. Since staple food prices shoot to the top in inflation, it is almost impossible for the average Ethiopian to afford nutritious and clean food. With the drought, thousands of animals have died since the beginning of this year, and livestock deaths have reached alarming levels. Malnutrition weeks weakens the children's ability to resist the attacks of infectious diseases and with the death of milking cattle nutrients for these children in ethiopia became scarce it has been estimated that malnutrition is a factor in 50 percent of all incidents under five mortality already more than 50 percent of the population of ethiopia is malnourished and only half have access to safe drinking water the ever rising numbers are putting more pressure on the exhausted land, pushing people further up to the mountains to the margin of fertility. The thin soil is exhausted. The trees that bound it to the hillsides have long since been chopped down for firewood. When it is dry, it just blows away as dust. And when it rains, the topsoil is swilled away by rivers. All Ethiopia's rivers run dark brown. This can only mean less food and water for the people, resulting in death, not of natural causes, but of disease and famine. Filthy water is consumed by Ethiopians, but since health services are almost non-existent, the dirty water takes a fatal toll on most people in Ethiopia. Due to sleeping on dirt floors made out of cow dung, one of the biggest issues is inti intestinal problems for parasites, along with finding bugs in children's ears that even cause some to go deaf. The number of AIDS orphans in Ethiopia has reached the one million mark, placing an even greater strain on the country's already limited and stretched social services. The fact that Ethiopia already has the third largest population in the world with the HIV virus only makes it worse. Families are torn apart by disease and poverty. If you saw a family of Ethiopians, you are more likely to see not an elderly figure or someone who is above the age of 50. Many children live alone, without grandparents, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, or any guardians. Imagine losing all your loved ones and struggling to be able to sleep in the same place and eat your food and to stay safe. The current conditions in Ethiopia, frequent droughts, poor access to health services, environmental degradation, and persistent price hikes for staple foods attest to the fact that more of Ethiopia will become impoverished and will not be able to sustain any community. People are dying every minute every second in Ethiopia. They are dying because they can't find food or water. They can't get medical care and most of all because they don't have a community to rely on anymore.